Welcome back. The midweek MP trio have reunited to talk budget, duck hunters, and Earth Day. Labrador Liberal MP Yvonne Jones, BC NDP MP Ginny Sims, Ontario Conservative MP Stella Ambler. Welcome back. Nice to have Thanks, you guys Stella. here. Thank you. All right, this Joe Oliver comment about, oh, you know, we got a problem here, but it's going to be Stephen Harper's granddaughter's problem to solve. Um, that's kind of manna from heaven for, for opposition parties. What did you make of it, Yvonne? Well, I thought his comment was absolutely absurd. I mean, who would ever make a comment like that when everybody in this country, everybody in the leadership role that are fiscally prudent, are always talking about planning for the future, building for our children, leaving something for them and not debt. I mean, leaving something better for them. So, you know, when he made that comment, I think everyone was astounded around him. And, and the fact that he's not backtracked on it, he's not tried to uh, apologize for it, um, leads me to believe that this is the type of ideology that we're dealing with, and if that's been the case, then we can't see, we're not going to see any improvements anytime soon under All this right. government. Slip of the tongue here, Jenny, or do you see, <laughs> see something deeper, an ideological you know, plot when you, here? When you balance a budget by selling off GM shares and then using those, that money, and when you take money from the contingency fund, from the EI fund, mm -hmm. and unspent monies over the last year that this government promised mm -hmm. to spend on programs, then when you uh, have created, and you really do have a structural deficit, Deficit because you're borrowing from all over or stealing from all over in order to have a balanced budget, then to make a comment like, but then to make a comment uh, like, and you know, the Prime Minister's <laughs> granddaughter, that's her problem. I'm a grandmother, by the way. I don't want to leave problems for my children or grandchildren. Stella. I want to leave them with a planet that has been looked after and a country that's been well managed. I thought your head was going to explode for a uh, minute there. Yeah, yeah, I can't but, believe you just said but stealing. It, it is a, that's it is crazy. A, I admit it's a stupid and comment, right? He was dismissing a preposterous compl uh, uh, claim about uh, TFSAs um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> and balancing, that and balancing, no, the parliamentary budget officer no, had the actually, uh, balancing the budget is good for future generations. It's good for Ginny's grandchildren and, uh, although I can't believe it really is balanced. Now. No, no. I should have thought about that seven years ago. Of course it is. Uh, uh, of course it is. And we've actually uh, worked hard to do that. And we've done it at the same time as we've lowered taxes for families. Um, helping seniors. These are uh, these are all the great initiatives in the in the budget. What do we do um, when and, we have and real crises? And our contingency fund has been reduced to such a small amount that, that compared to where it used to be. That is actually completely false, Jenny. And you really you should check that because it's I, not I have, true. No, we you are haven't. taking money out of the contingency no, fund. No, we're not. You had a three billion contingency. Now you got yeah. a one billion yeah. contingency. Yeah. Yeah. Two billion not, left. Yeah. I can remember. I can remember a minister happening. last year after the Calgary floods and the Manitoba flood yeah. saying we have to look at putting more money into our contingency funds yeah. to look at that you know the kind of natural disasters no. No, we could face sad. but here we are now the contingency fund has been reduced and nobody can deny that that's not prudent economics Jimmy your grandchildren will be well looked after by the by the fact that we're not helping, by your helping, government them, government. Save, no. helping them save helping them save for the future find the balancing okay. budgets is okay. good for future the Don't future generations we're keeping more money in the pockets of families. Uh, my grandchildren have right. balanced education. budgets for seven years. Yeah. You didn't yeah. balance budgets. And yeah. my grandchildren have fewer opportunities We're now than my children had, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. I think the most be. interesting thing about this is that Rachel Harper is going to be prime minister one day. Stephen Harper's grandchild. Oh, it's his da grandchild. Da his Her daughter. daughter. Okay, never mind. I don't think she has the, those kinds of. Uh, no, Let's do I, move on. I, uh, I said I was going to have give you guys a shot at taking something you really didn't like in this budget, but you shocked me by saying there are some things you like in this budget. Name one, Jenny. Well, I support a tax break for small businesses. They are the job creators. Up to 80% of the jobs mm -hmm. are generated by them. I don't like the way it's being done. It's spread out over too long a period. But it's also something they've stolen from our platform. But as you know, flattery, to, you know, stealing something like this is often oh, called yeah. flattery. Lowering, lowering it's taxes just in position that he doesn't want. That no, no, we've actually, that's been our commitment. We, we have no problem with the, uh, with the reduction 
reduction taxes for small business, and we actually support that. In fact, he was just asked a question in the House of Commons only minutes ago, and he responded to it uh, in 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 that same language. But uh, what we liked in the budget, um, I, I think, what we liked most those. was the the um, income for people uh, that are sick, the benefits, the caregiver benefits. I, that's what we like extending it from six weeks to six months. We yeah, had that in our, that. our yeah. platform in 2011. It was one of the highlights of the Liberal platform wow. at that time. Well, that's good. And that means the Liberals we, won't we actually reverse to, that. Yeah. So that's good. They're not going to reverse I, yeah, I, okay, I'll listen. give you your what chance. Don't you like What's your budget? number one number one budget? I, Is there anything you don't like in this budget? <laughs> no. I oh, wasn't going to say. I was, going, I was going to mention the compassionate <laughs> care. You don't uh, like that? Uh, no, I love it. Oh. I think yeah, it's, it's I was going to say that, so I'll I'll pick another one. Yeah. I think the uh, the home accessibility uh, tax credit for seniors and people with disabilities is also a good one, um, because what it does is uh, it helps you know it helps the elderly and and people who have problems with accessibility in their own homes. Mm -hmm. it, it helps to keep their own homes safe and um, now, you know we're we making it a bit more uh, affordable uh, uh, affordable for them do not. to be able to you do not like income do splitting. Do not support income splitting because here billions of dollars are going to be used to assist the top 15 percent economists the pri uh, parliamentary budget officer economists have come out and said this is poor economic jurisprudence I, I, I would really like to know how you're how you how the liberal leader are defining rich because i i just don't i i can't i can't imagine how a family tax cut that benefits all families four million of them with children in canada could possibly be for the rich only i don't understand that well when, when you bring in a tax break that's only going to benefit 15 percent of the population and the they're the top earners in the country there's your families. definition of rich they're going to but, families but what with children tell you the thing in this budget that I really do not like is the income splitting because it leaves too many Canadian families behind who need that tax tax break mm. and the doubling of the TFSAs. It come on, what? who do you okay, know? She got to say who like do you things. know who I, has money kicking around in their in their back pocket and in their dresser drawers <laughs> at the end of every year that they can uh, put ten thousand dollars into this Canadians. benefit? 11 million Canadians have Can't put money into TFSAs. 11 million have yeah. done that. Cannot so come up with the 5,500 60, 60 each year, of the people notwithstanding the 10,000. Okay. We want to get to Earth Day. I, I want to say, okay. let me say glad I am that the Liberal leader is actually you know admitting that he doesn't right. like income splitting, <laughs> so he's going to take that away. I want to know, is he going to take it away from seniors too? Because we have initiated income splitting for pensioners. So he's not splitting. Pensioners, for please, is, is working Stop. for, for many more pensioners. Earth Day today. The budget Earth came day. out yesterday. There was no climate change reference in it That's anywhere. Sad. Why not? Why don't sad. you do sad. something more to tackle climate change? It is a problem. Oh no! I, 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 greenhouse oh. gas emissions are. It's the. This is the first and uh, only government to take tackling those seriously. They have been <laughs> reduced by very um, by initiatives like um, like transport initiatives um, to reduce greenhouse gas and be very practical <laughs> solutions on how to do this. Um, uh, the environmental like. W like the environmental Stella. initiatives, in, like not only in this Stella. budget, it's like going but for to the past. Stella, really listening to the minister for <laughs> the environment here's, here's speaking what we're today. Doing. Hang on, Stella. Stella. Let her okay. talk. For the environment talking today, I really felt that she hadn't actually read the budget book. Yes. And maybe she just read some briefing mo uh, notes and got speaker's notes from the PMO. But what it really struck me is that here we have even the few little elements under the environment where they're putting in money, it's where they've made cuts of 40 to 56 percent already, or they're planning to. But really, when you're dealing with climate change, Don, I visit lots of schools, and I hear that as the number one issue from the young people. I hear about that as being a number one issue, and we as a country are in denial because of our government. The people are not, but our government definitely is in denial. No. They have failed the Yvonne, future generations. Yvonne, you see it. You're and up north, right? this is something right? that yeah. the grandchildren Clim cannot fix okay. if we Clim don't. Climate change is a real issue in this country. The fact yeah. that the Conservatives ignore it doesn't make it less real. It is. It exists. I live in the north. I represent a, a lot of the territories in terms of my critic portfolios, so I spend a lot of time there. The changes are evident. 
They're happening and it's having a serious impact up on the lives of people who live there from a social economic perspective, but it's having a huge impact on Canadians environmentally. What I would like to do is tip my hat to the provinces in this country that are leading the way with some of these initiatives. And it's sad when we're leaving it to provinces to create direction around climate change and, and not having uh, good practices led by the national government. You've got 20 seconds, Stella. 20 seconds. So absolutely, we take we take that we take it very seriously. In fact, reducing course, greenhouse gas it. emissions and initiatives around that, we've committed over a billion dollars to those kinds of initiatives. But we want to make sure we do that without instituting a, a job-killing carbon tax. Okay. That's the most important thing. Nicely to do. done. 21 seconds. Nicely done. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.